funny because we actually want to film at the beach on the beach which you can't do today but it's just so often that we are filming over a cliff giving an example of the reason the, the fiscal cliff exists yeah see that that cement down there there was nothing wrong with that cement that was there before totally nothing wrong with it because we would go we would we have been going on that thing for some time and, and and all they did was they tore it up and are replacing it in order to put work to put union workers back to work again so but, you know it's 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 sort of ridiculous folks this is what congress does but they it? got an agreement last night so they won't go over the fiscal cliff no they actually went over the fiscal cliff oh. already what happened was the, um, the Republicans have now boxed in Obama, and um, Obama doesn't like it because uh, the, what happens is the Republicans can now today say that if they pass this thing, that they gave people a tax deduction, whereas Obama gave, Obama gave them a tax increase and they gave the they gave the people this nation a tax reduction. So they said Obama overplayed his hand yesterday. Oh, is that what And happened? they said the Senate deliberately waited till after midnight to pass their version of it so that they could teach the President of the United States that oh, he doesn't tell them what they can and cannot do. Oh, that doesn't make them too happy. Yeah, I know. But, uh, you know they, they, here's the definite. What is the fiscal cliff? Aren't we looking out over Yeah, well, that's the reason why the fiscal cliff. But the fiscal cliff means you have to you have to start paying the money in taxes and social security and other things that you haven't been paying for years and that the government has to stop spending money uh, which are things that are both needed in order to get the economy back in shape they say well what it's going to result is is that if you take this money away from people they're not going to buy new cars and they're not going to buy new houses and they're not going to buy new refrigerators well here's the trick is if they weren't buying new cars, houses, and refrigerators yesterday before the fiscal cliff, what makes you think that they would buy them today if the fiscal cliff hadn't have happened? Mm -hmm. So th there is no, you know, it's just uh, politicians are elected to spend money. They're not elected to cut money. Oh, that is true. They're not elected to cut money. You know, it's like, this is why they say, well, the politicians only have an 18% approval rating. Well, that's also a physical impossibility because they got elected. They got elected. Therefore, they got a, they have a 100% approval rating. And uh, you know that if you have you know they say well, you you know that politician from Santa Clara did this. Where my politician from Orange County, well, he he's the, he's he deserves re-election. But like they're comparing what each which uh, congressman got in each area. Yeah. You know, the congressman that delivers most is always re-elected. The congressman that delivers least gets replaced. But they only have a 7% turnover rate in every election. Mm -hmm. And most of that is because people don't want to run again. So who, therefore, is responsible for the Congress that you have? Everybody. Everybody. So there is no reason to complain about what you are getting. You deserve it. It's just like Mark Twain said... You never get the Congress you want, but you always get the Congress you deserve. Well, you can tell everybody Happy New Year because what do they have in store for them? Uh, okay, here's what was worked out in the Senate last night. Everybody that was, everybody that pays taxes is going to continue to pay taxes. The people that aren't paying taxes are going to get hit by fees that they weren't going to get hit, that they weren't being hit by. In other words, everybody gets to pay more money. Everybody. I also noticed that the people that weren't paying taxes are not going to start paying taxes. They, they just get fees. They get fees. They're not calling them taxes for the... Okay, that 47% that Mitt Romney said existed does exist. They elected the president because he was going to make certain that they didn't get hit. Well, now they're going to pay... They're not going to pay taxes, but they're going to pay fees now. It's all in the semantics so that they can say they're not paying taxes. I know. Oh, look at this. The sun's coming out. This I know. You know it's actually a live shot. Yeah. Oh, look. They decided to leave the lifeguard station. What it is, is they've manned the station way down the line, though. I'd like to know what actually was happening down there. Actually, they're probably, that's an example of the, of, of what's going on anyway, is that this is a, this is a, a, this is New Year's Day, and there's very few lifeguards out because they can't afford to man the station. Well, and then New Year's Day? Yeah, which even though the fact that it was not really warm out there, 
people do come out uh, to the beaches because if we can, you know, just fi try to find a parking spot. We found one right before the no parking sign thing, so. I know, but the sun's coming out. It's getting nice and toasty. Of course, in the car, <coughs> yeah, without we're in, the wind. we're in a car and there's no wind today. I mean, it's totally no wind, but um, what's happened in the United States, every, virtually the entire country is broke. And you really can't raise taxes anymore. All you can do is leave, put the taxes back the way they were. It is not going to affect any anything on the economy if they pay what they were supposed to be paying before. Because if uh, the the trick is is that if you don't stop spending, there's what it was. One of the people, one of the economists explained it this way. He said, if you continue to spend money, it has an adverse effect. But if you stop spending money. It has no effect whatsoever. But what is Congress elected to do? Mm -hmm. To spend money. That's right. You get money for your district. That's right. You bring in the bacon. It's just what the problem with the why the House isn't going to approve the sixty billion dollars in Hurricane Sandy aid because uh, first of all, the new Congress, the new Congress takes over. Uh, Friday. You're not approving the Hurricane Sandy aid? No, because it, of the sixty billion dollars, uh, we're talking congressmen and senators put pork projects onto it. Oh, that's why it's not going to get approved. So it's not going to get approved. So now it's going to go back to the uh, you know basically. Well, the Republicans have no 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 hearts and they have no soul. Well, yes, they do. And why do pork projects get added on there? Oh, If you, you bring home the bacon for your uh, for your community, I mean, uh, we have liberal Democrats that are noted for bringing home the money for their uh, their constituents. Well, because then they can say, well, we voted for Hurricane Sandy, but look what I got for you. Yeah, and that's where they have to. They got to cut out all of the port projects. Need to be cut out. Uh, they, uh, it, it, like I said, it really is not a revenue problem, it is a spending problem. If you Republicans and Democrats have got to stop spending money. I like to, one of, another one in Congress said, if they did nothing but to go back to the amount of money that was being spent when Obama was elected president, you solve the problem. Oh, now that sounds so easy. I know it's so easy, but the problem is, is that uh, they've got all of this money spent for the next decade. You know, like you don't approve it for just now. Well, we're going we're going to give you this this pork project. You know, I'm adding ten billion dollars in new construction for the state of California over the next ten years. Well, you basically don't go back and tell the state then. Well, you're going to have to tell all those all those contracts that you signed that you're going to have to pay penalties on now that they're no good. Well, and they have to make them for a longer term because otherwise, if you don't have a multi-years, they can't sit in front of especially for something like construction. I know. And you know, all of these other port projects, like, you know, we've got to study, why does the waves come up in the pattern that they come up? I don't know. Why do they? Well, that's Is what the... study for that? That's the study for that. Or, or why, why does the fruit fly only mate at certain times of the year? Well, because the weather is nice and Warm and stuff, so. Why do men watch football on New Year's Day? That's right. I and mean, why? Like, do, things that's how ridiculous. Why do? Yeah. And why do women not watch football on New Year's Day? But see, that's. And why do women go shopping? That's right. Or, or here's one. That, here's a big one right now. Why are people not shopping as much as they did before? Let's see. We can tell them those answers without even doing a survey. I know, but see, we could pay. You know, they should pay us two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. To do the, to give them the answer, they don't have any money. If you're not working, you can't spend what you don't have. So it's why credit card use is down. It's why credit cards are all being restricted. It doesn't have as much to do with Dodd Frank as it does the fact that if you don't have it, you can't spend it, and the card companies won't allow you to. So, <laughs> but um, the, the the fiscal cliff. I mean, what happened was last night was that. The, 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 the Republicans in the, uh, in the House and the, the Republicans and the Democrats in the Senate punted till Friday when the new Congress is in control. Well, then they take over. Yeah, and then they can, uh, Friday, they can undo anything that is done yesterday and today. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, this is like the final hurrah. Yeah. Before they go out of office. That's right. They said every Before member the of the Congress. Senate that's not going to be serving next, next term voted, voted for it. 
and you assume that every member of the House of Representatives that has nothing to lose will vote for it today. And but the, the problem comes is that neither Pelosi or Banyard can control their their House members. They think that right now, because uh, as of this moment, the vote should have been taken three hours ago, and they can't get enough people to vote. They said that they think... They can't get enough to vote? The new, they can't get enough to vote, period. Oh. If you vote present, enough of you vote present, you know, they vote present because they want to pick up the extra money for being there today. That means that it doesn't pass. Oh, but they aren't even getting people to respond. Yep. Which means people don't want to be on the record. They don't want to be on the record one way or the other. Remember, uh, Obama was it's not on the he record. Used to call, it's just that he was present. He was present, so so that he could pick up he could pick up money for being there. You know, I can say, well, I attend. I was there a hundred percent of the time, but he voted present. You know, and, you know, he he voted present more than any other any other senator ever had. He, I know that's amazing. Because he wanted no record. So, but um, like I said, like I said, the, the fiscal cliff problem, no matter what it is, has been punted to the next Congress, and they're going to do. We're going to discuss about how to solve this problem, but we're going to we're going to wait until after the inauguration. Then we're going to start a serious discussion, mm -hmm. which means it's never going to nothing's ever going to happen. So you know, you uh, it's just the way it works. So, but like I said, when you throw a fit about them. Remember, before, as we close this, who put the people in office that you're throwing a fit about? You did. So therefore, you deserve whatever happens. Oh, Happy New Year's. Oh, you can change Congress.